What am I looking up? Oh, I'm I'm not saying. No, it's more of, you know, like there are certain people on Facebook that are very politically active in what they do. And it's always just really funny how it's always the same damn people that not only have everything awful always happens to them, but it's never their fault and it's everybody else's fault. And everybody else should solve all their problems for them. And then, and then they're also like horribly depressed and like hate, hate themselves and all this other shit and like everyone, but it's everyone else who should feel bad about, you know, their lives because they're evil people. And it's just like, you know, maybe all of this boils down to... You know, some sort of reaction where you want to make everybody else wrong because, you know, because you don't like yourself. And it's just like shit. All these people that you disagree with and think are sociopath, Nazi, horrible people. Maybe. Maybe. You should be like them, because they at least don't hate themselves. <laughs> no, it's just... It's just funny. It's just fucking funny. It's like, oh, everybody's awful. Oh, everything's awful. I hate everybody. Like, you know, it's, it's seek to change yourself before you seek to change others. <laughs> sort of thing like if you're not okay with you maybe you shouldn't be throwing rocks at others because trust me it's it's not gonna it's not gonna bring you any joy So what we're fixing here is basically the the begin play of the arena level was always setting the current stage to zero. The thing is, stages uh, missions are supposed to span separate levels, so you should be able to go through a series of different levels. And it looks like that got all screwed up because if every time it starts a map, it sets the index to zero, it's always going to be playing the first stage. So if you had a stage that spanned multiple levels, it would load into the second stage and then it would load back into the first stage from the second because it's like, oh, well, we're supposed to be on stage zero right now, not stage two. You know, we're in the wrong map or whatever. It's also pretty funny. I think a lot of people, when they go into... Like, career choices? And things like that, where people get really upset. Like, you know, in college or something, you know, in high school, they're always like, oh, you know, learn what you love and, you know, make sure whatever. And You know what? Like, that's all a bunch of bullshit. Like, if you have a good job that pays well, you're going to like it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of funny. It's like, oh, you should get a, you should get like some degree in, you know, sociological impacts or some other shit. It'd be like, no, you should just get a fucking job. You get enough money, and uh, you find your hate your career or something, 
Like, okay, cool. You hate your career, but at least you have plenty of fucking money to go do something else. Like, <laughs> or you can just suck up that part of your life and go on vacation when you save up enough cash. Shit. Nah, but instead, let's get a fucking worthless degree and then complain about how our life sucks all the time. Like, yep, good job there. You did it. You made yourself miserable. And not only are you educated, you are also horribly in debt and horribly depressed. Great job. You did it. You became an adult. And doing what you like is really difficult. It's true. I don't know. I, I kind of find it... Like, I could like to do a lot of damn things. You know, like, programming is something I really like doing. But it's more... Like, I could... I'd be fine not programming as my main job. You know, be like... I'd just go get good at that. Like, I love bagging groceries and stupid shit like that. It's... It's fun. Just being good at something is fun. Like your brain is wired that way. If you're good at something and things are successful, your brain will continue to shoot the right chemicals in the right places. Or at least it should. And that's how games work. So we need to go to our arena level. And get the current... But maybe that makes me an evil person, right? It makes me an evil person that I expect people to go take care of their own shit. Right, let's see if that works for that. So I need to add another function here. I need to override the set player proxy override. Yeah, so this guy right here, I need to implement you. So what is this? It's going to be get player entity for type. It's kind of like practically the evilest person. It's, it's like the Maelstrom guys when I went and got a quote for a build server for them. So the build server isn't just like some consumer grade thing under their desk. And you know, like, and they basically balked at the price. They're like, I could go to Best Buy and buy three build servers, uh, you know, three, uh, you know, Windows 10 boxes, and, you know, and that would be more cost effective if um, we do this for like two years. And I'm like, sure, but, you know, this is a server and a data center that's monitored by people, and, you know, you're not going to spill a soda on your box, and if hardware failure happens, they will replace the hard drive, and like all this other shit. And they're like, ah, no, nah, it's not, not worth it. It's like, you know, 
You don't buy house insurance because you think your house is going to burn to the ground. You, you do it because <laughs> if your house does burn to the ground, you, you won't be completely up a creek. Um, you know, like stuff like that, right? It's like, it's like Puerto Rico, right? Like, they're totally fucked right now because of a hurricane, right? But it it's really that, you know, like, if you live in a zone where hurricanes happen and every fucking time something comes through and wrecks your shit, you're completely fucked. Maybe, you know, Maybe you should have had a bit of a plan beforehand. Sure, short-term emergency assistance will get you somewhere, but if you're already fucked, like... <laughs> Look, it's a little fat sack. I can't even control him. I can't even control my character. <laughs> He's just doing his thing. <laughs> Is he gonna win the mission for me? Come on, fat sack. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> That is, that is fucking funny. <laughs> he can't even run up the hill. He's so fat. He can't run up the fucking hill. He's stuck forever. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> He's trying to jump too. Alright, so we can totally spawn in as other characters, and they totally do not fucking work. But that's fine. Alright, so... So if we go to these player, we have Fat Sack Perspective Player, which has a Fat Sack Proxy and then default camera data. So the Fat Sack Proxy has all this stuff on it. Um, I'm gonna make another one here. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna have Fat Sack Player Proxy. Alright, so the problem is that I think the Bitey character, like he's got the BP movement controller, so we want the player logic object. What is this? Player logic object? Yeah. Then we also want the Bitey movement controller. I mean, do we or should we have none? Let's try none. Net controller, none. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. So we might be able to move as this character. I'll have to see. Yeah, I, I am. I am controlling him. <laughs> I'm trying to jump. <laughs> That's as high as he can go. <laughs> He's got no animations. 
But you can play as him. <laughs> Can't jump for shit. <laughs> Come on, you get up the hill. You can do it, fat sack. Oh man, he I wall jumped up there. And the reason he's all gray is because he's using the the color overrides. <laughs> ah, shit. Come on, you can do it. Oh man. Only got seven seconds. Come on, fat sack. Get the ball in the hole. There we go. You did it. You want to play this fat sack? It's it's close to being a reality. <laughs> He's going so fast. Look at that. <laughs> Can run into the wall. No, no, bam. I'm going to change this mission now. I'm going to, let's see, game mode. Let's have another game mode option. Let's have right players, right box, three. Let's see what happens with this. Because <laughs> they're all going to be fat sacks. I have no idea how the AI is going to work. Doesn't look like it spawned any of them in there, did it? Let's see if this will spawn the bots for us. All right, there we go. We got bots. Are they going to come over? No, <laughs> the bots. <laughs> How's it feel, bitey? You get fucking killed by a fat sack. <laughs>
Oh man, Bitey and Fat Sack, who's faster? great <laughs> welcome to pranking with everybody you can just beat the shit out of out of dashkin as a fat sack All right, so the the issue right now is that the spawn in for bots is not taking this stuff into account. So it's in the lovely tills, I believe. All right, we'll see what we can do with this. Yeah, so basically if we had an entity that had all the same animations as Bitey right now, like if we had a a flying girl or something like that, we could totally spawn in and play as that character. That would be pretty sweet. All right, so now the bots should spawn as little baby fat sack dudes. Let's make sure that it happens. Hmm. 
They're also going to punch the shit out of me, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh man, they're trying to run up the hill. I think we can't run through each other. Oh no, we're all stuck. Maybe I can get him unstuck. No. Stuck forever. <laughs> He's jumping. He's jumping to match me. Well, what is he doing? He's just. He's just in the air. coming for me. Run, Fatsack! Run for your life! They're coming for you. You can do it. Get up here, it's the insurmountable obstacle. Come on, get up the get up the cliff. And then get you up. All right, let's see. So if we have the fat sack, dude. Like these are all of his animations, right? These are all of bitees.
what I'd want to do is go through all these The problem is going to be that like the collisions are on, on all this stuff. Hello, Devil Twenty Three. Welcome. I'm just uh, working on some experiment stuff. You have the perfect follow notification, but you don't allow links. Well, you can always PM me the link, and I can take a look at it. All right, so fat sack bitey, and fat sack. Okay, so we need to expand all these. So this will be the idle. <laughs> you got the uh, the gloves. Yeah, the the gloves are perfect. I mean, those are nice gloves too, right? I mean, they keep your hands warm. They do the thing. So what is bounce here? Bounce is S settle. Okay, so we need the the walk for walk. So that is what S walk. What is it? It's um, W idle. Right, so this is the run is. Our idle. And then our idle two, this is going to be roll. What is roll? It's S roll. I'm basically putting this guy together right here. You wear toeless socks? What? <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, so let's go to our player. So it's going to be this um, gameplay, player entities. All right, we'll see if this works. It's not a thing. <laughs> well, you need to make it a thing. Because Tola socks, I could definitely see that because then you could wear, you know, you could wear flip-flops, but with socks. And your feet wouldn't get cold or something, right? <laughs> oh 
Oh man. <laughs> This is the worst. <laughs> These guys just follow me around in fucking T pose. <laughs> You can do it, Bitey. You can ice skate your way to victory. Oh man, you actually did it. Oh, I made it over. It's a new day. <laughs> yeah, they definitely look like they they've had some head trauma. All right, let me see. What is the movement controller normally? It's a bitey player net object. All right, let's see if that works. Uh, do I know uh, C sharp and .NET? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, I I know enough that I could, like, like if I needed to write something in C sharp, I I would uh, be able to do it. But .NET is like a whole other thing, right? So the problem is these falling th things need to be set proper. So I think it's this, uh, we need impact. Right, let's just go through all these guys.
So I think all the rest of these are pretty decent. So let's see if we can do anything. Uh, you've been doing... Uh, all right. So you're still learning. So it might sound like you're a little full of it, but you've been going to this website where you can do a bunch of coding challenges. Is that code fights or whatever, right? Basically, it's to learn the algorithms you need. But once you finish each challenge, you can go back and look at other solutions. Oh man, this is this is too cool. Holy <laughs> oh, shit, they fucking fell through the world. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> shit. That was fucking amazing. stuck again I think what I just need to do is I need to replace pretty much all of these things with fat sack um, let's see it's the, the look yeah we'll just copy paste this thing pretty much everywhere Go back and look. Oh, and this and this guy keeps using link queries and stuff. Entirely, this this guy gets the top code solution because he does everything in one line of code. But he hasn't gone through the logic of one single algorithm. <laughs> yeah, people like that piss me off. Lock him up. But so the whole so basically, there's this nice website, and the idea is that okay, awesome. I am going to be able to learn how to, you know, like. to code and this thing's going to help help me you know teach you know that's going to help me learn all this stuff right but you know all the all the freaking answers are just a whole bunch of trash there because you know this, this guy has gone through and just had troll answers for everything yeah they should they should ban that guy and get rid of him because that's just the opposite of helpful All right, what is the celebrate animation going to be for this guy? Maybe the bounce? What is bounce? Bounce is S settle. Let's do S dig for that.
Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mess with some of this. What is all this even? It's helping you know learn about link queries. What the hell is a link query anyway? Or am I gonna have to go look that up? Uh, basically Karakan, I am making a playable fat sack that plays horribly, but can be played. It's .NET built-in functions to help sort data and stuff. Oh, all right, that makes sense. Playable fats. Yeah, it's it's not a very good playable fats act, but it's. I'm just um, I'm experimenting to see what I can do with a bit of this stuff. You're still learning. Yeah, all right, cool. I don't know, like doing one-line link queries. Just anything that's like one line just sounds awful. All right, so I can run around this fat sack. I can jump. I can punch and pop up. Fat sack, you did it. This game will be called Sackett League in every form by assholes who think they're <laughs> I'd be alright with that. We've we've already got forums, you can you can go call it Sackett League there. Oh man, fat sack, you lost. At least try to look, you know, unhappy about it. That's that can totally ground pound. Oh, what the hell? The blue fat sack scored. You sons of bitches. That's that can even run into walls. You want to play with the game? You need playtesters. Well, the game is live. Um, you can buy it on the website, or uh, we sometimes give out free codes and all that stuff. But um, yeah, we we've, we've been doing quite a bit of playtesting with the game. So we're we're getting there. Yeah. 
see these the fat sacks their collision is screwed up so they can't like collide with each other otherwise they'd be punching each other all over the place but cool so if I go back to the actual mission then I should be able to disable that trash so let's see fat sack let's make it a dash game Yeah, I don't think you saw it earlier, Karakan, but I <laughs> earlier there was uh, some pretty damn funny stuff going on with the um I put in all of Bitey's animations in there for for this guy. And basically what was going on was <laughs> it broke all the animations for for <laughs> for everything and like the characters were just stuck on like the first frame and like jumping around like they were all like car sock puppets or cardboard cutouts on popsicle sticks in like a, a play <laughs> looks really comical I'll have to I'll have to grab that all right let's see so we got that how often do we give out codes uh, usually we give out codes um, every every update so it's like once every other uh, every third week is when we do an update which is next weekend this upcoming week. all right so we need a a score stat for left and right all right so let's go ahead and add that so I need more stats Hooray, more stats. This is gonna take a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. So that's in our enums for game data. And yeah, okay. Give me that code. Hey now. You'll get a code. You'll get a code eventually. You just gotta be patient. And uh, we'll all be playing it this weekend. So um, that's the best time to actually play the game is when other people are playing it. Steel's code. Hey now. I've got those servers locked down tight. But uh, we'll definitely be giving some out, especially if you're there for the update on Friday, I believe, is when we're going to get it out. So you'll get your you'll get your free stuff, sir, or ma'am, or whatever type of helicopter you identify as. All right, so we have the scores. I need to go to my utils for the UI. And where are you? It's scripts, utils. Steel server like they stole the safe in Fast Five. Shit, that safe got screwed up. Alright, so we don't need to add anything there. 
Is lower stat better? For stats, um, get name for stat. I don't think we need too much for this. Like, I think the defaults will cover it in JavaScript land. So we just need to go to what? The level utils? And change all these things. Anyway, I am going to be right back. And then I'll get on implementing these. I oh, don't worry, Devil Twenty Three. Everything is in hand. So stats are tracked. Uh, we've got R score and left score. Get stat for condition. We've got. Left score, just...